After two years of pandemic restrictions and then the heat wave last summer followed by fires and floods, people are chomping at the bit to get some lake time in Kelowna. Bookings at hotels, motels and Airbnbs are going very fast as this playwright from Victoria discovered. And uh, I thought, well, we'll book in April. It's uh, we're going to get a deal out there for sure. And then, no, I mean, unless two hundred dollars a night is a deal, um, we're not getting any deals. Uh, you know, and I, I was willing to look further afield. I mean, we don't have to be in downtown Kelowna. Uh, I was looking, you know, in the uh, out of town and I found something that was a lot cheaper than I then I Google mapped it. And it turns out it's an hour and a half away from downtown. So I thought, well, that's not going to work. Bookings are incredibly busy. The phones and the emails are both ringing and going off the hook, to be honest. We don't have to social distance. People can enjoy each other. So there's going to be events again, which is exciting. Weddings. We have large groups coming in. It's everything. We're just looking forward to it. One pandemic trend that is continuing is interest in domestic destinations. Um, Canadians are, you know, sure they want to go to sunny, warm destinations south of the border in the winter, but we also find that they also want to stay in Canada and support local. Uh, and more and more Canadians have realized over the course of the pandemic that they can support local and they can visit their backyards as opposed to going to uh, other countries. And, and we're part of being, we're happy to be part of that. Atkinson says be persistent and keep checking back for cancellations. And if you aren't able to find a spot in the summer, remember that fall, winter and spring are also great times to visit the Okanagan. In Kelowna, Cindy White, Castanet.